This is Paul. Yes. <laughs> you know, um, I think it's a huge miscarriage of, of justice. Yes. <laughs> Uh, to say that somebody's incompetent when you refuse to admit the evidence, right? You remove my ability to impeach witnesses, poop. And then you sit there every day saying, well, we have to protect our religion and we have to protect our right to an income. Mm -hmm. Now these oaths, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I would think in ordination there is some sort of... Uh, mm -hmm education about uh, this ability to deprive Congress of taxation. Yeah. Now, for every one of you that's ordained that happens to also be an attorney, oh, yeah. A little upset right now. Okay. <laughs> now, um, I have put my signature here. Mm -hmm. Restatement of torts. Yes. Yeah. Sets forth the elements of the tort of assault as follows. The relevant government actors that happen to be the ordained in religion and they happen to be the uh, oath of office. Poop. <laughs> now, the actor is subject to liability uh, to another for assault if um, mm -hmm. he acts intending to cause harmful or offensive contact with a person or the other or a third person. Yeah. Or uh, imminent apprehension of such contact. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I've been apprehended numerous times for crimes I didn't commit because of me uh -huh, informing those that are oaths of office, yes, both candidates for office and elected to office, yes. And then because I inform those that are attorney oaths, oaths of admission, yes. Mandatory reporters, yes. Civil rights coordinators, mm -hmm. and now those that are the ordained in denominations that have the authority to deprive Congress of taxation. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there could be a tort lawsuit here for the miscarriage of justice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, you cannot say that you dismiss the case without prejudice. Mm -hmm. Because I'm incompetent for knowing I wasn't in Squim, yeah. And I wasn't in Brennan, yes. And then you would not give me any evidence that I had committed any crime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, your want to cause my harmful uh, losses, yes. Mm -hmm. I think it's a miscarriage of justice, yes. Now, uh, evidence tending to show someone other than the defendant committed the crime we met. Well, I mentioned that when you serve somebody other than the respondent, yes, there's a possibility that they were getting paid to make shows. Excuse me. And then uh, you you say that I was in cities that I wasn't in. Yeah. You refuse to admit the evidence and you refuse to uh, allow me any witnesses. Uh huh. That I ooch ooch. There's that bagley again. Poop, poop. Now, a uh, perjury at trial, mm -hmm. even before Brady, the Supreme Court created a, a, a broad duty for the prosecutor to disclose perjured testimony. Yes. Uh, and uh, the perjury comes completely with the whim of the witness. Yes, yes, yes. If the prosecutor knows it's false, there is a duty to disclose. Mm -hmm. Now, what co worker of my wife in Brennan, Washington, said I was attempting to contact her while at the same time, yeah, I sent a million five hundred thousand emails, yes, that my rights are being violated, mm -hmm. there's forgeries and fraud, poop, my sons are being held hostage, and they're being neglected and abused, yes. Now, um, I'm thinking, okay, that there's no child left behind uh, legislation, mm -hmm. Hmm. We didn't really look at this, but there's my initial right there. Yeah. What if you're an employee of the government and you're a pastor, reverend, or priest, and you're an attorney? Yes. Could you get me all the actual employment employees of every of the federal government? Yes. That happen to be the ordained. <laughs> they can sign yes receipts for tax deductible contributions while at the same time saying they're working for the United States government, 
for the betterment of the nation. And then every state employee that is also an ordained, <coughs> that has any knowledge of pastors that thought that it was my obligation to change my address when I was homeless, <coughs> where there was no separation of church and state. Yes. And then all of the county employees, yes. city employees, and reservation employees, <coughs> that have actually signed, yes, a tax deductible receipt for the last 40 years where on the one side oops, they work for the government but on the other side oh, they actually work for their religion true which now this not go yes 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 i'm absolutely sure okay mm -hmm. that any employee of the government that allows for the defrauding of the government because of their want to protect their religion yes, yes. while at the same time allowing me to have to suffer numerous miscarriages of justice? Yes. Where I inform the police department? Yes. My rights are being violated. My sons have been abducted. <laughs> They're living in a, a school district that wants them to graduate two years behind where they should actually be graduating? Yes. And you're not going to enforce my rights, are you, Rod Page? <laughs> Could you get me the secretary of the Department of Education? Yes. Yes, yes. I'd like to know every certificated teacher in every school district, oh, every civil rights coordinator, oh, <laughs> every superintendent and principal that also has the authority to protect their religion because of the tax-deductible contributions to their various ministries. <laughs> now, it might be that we need a bigger separation of church and state. <laughs> That you couldn't work for the government while at the same time having the authority to deprive Congress of its right to lay and collect taxes? Yes. Because of your refusal to enforce parenting rights. You know, this miscarriage of justice where in amendment number uh, 16, the Congress shall have power to lay and collect taxes on incomes, except when ooch, employees of the government want to issue tax deductible receipts ooch, where they are deprived of the right to the sources of the income <clears throat> and apportioned among every state of the United States of America. <laughs> now, I know it would make it difficult for you. Yes. You'd have to choose, am I going to work in the government? Yes. Or am I going to work in my religion? <laughs> am I going to be an attorney? Ooch. Or am I going to be a minister? Ooch. Am I going to be a judge? Or <laughs> am I going to be a priest? <laughs> now, enhanced parental choice. Parents of children who are low-performing schools are given a new range of options. Yes. Uh, for one, myself as a parent, yes. Uh, with children in a school that has kept them in the wrong grades for seven and a half years, that failed to meet the state standards of separating mm -hmm, the school superintendent from the civil rights coordinator or the sister of the football coach, poop, uh, two consecutive years may transfer my sons to a better performing public school or any school that I want them to go to. Yes within the district that I decide to live in because you're going to enforce my, my victim's rights and my victim's resources. Now, I'm a homeschooling father, yes, and I'm thinking that there could be this huge national lawsuit that you cannot have the conflict of interest of your religion. <laughs> well, 